What's well, everyone? The game, the game does here back part nine of the uh, Metroid Dread playthrough. And yep, we're still on, the, still on the mission. Kind of forgot what happened in the previous video since we recorded like last week before Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, I didn't really get much on Christmas, but uh, the Eagles hat and gloves, and a big ass uh, Reese's cups, the giant ones. <laughs> forgot those giant Reese's cups exist. And yep, y'all yeah, we're starting with a mini ball, so Choho statues. And we're finding two of them again. So yeah, that's what today. Well, um, well, to you football, well, um, to you football fans out there, it's it's a sad news for us all football fans. As um, this morning, John Mann has passed away at the age of 85. Uh, let's just say that I was at best. I was at loss at words when I heard about this because, dude, I, I you know I me, mean, man. I used to love Madden back in the day, the Madden games, and he was behind oh. Monday Night Football. But yeah, to you, John Madden, thanks for your entertainment. I love to watch football and play your Madden games, and you'll be remembered. But they didn't say how he died yet. They just said that he just passed away this morning. So I'm gonna assume that we're gonna, we're gonna get the results a bit later. All right. So by the time I record this playthrough, at a certain point in this part, now you may remember in the first part I was applying that I made 100 this playthrough. Well, at one point in this video, I kind of changed my mind. And decided to say, fuck it, let's just beat the game normally. Yeah, but I will, I will 100% just play it through when I, uh, let's play my, uh, challenge in the near future. Cause here's the thing, if, if I plan to go on every single missile in this game and all the items, that's gonna cause me some shit tons of editing. And the shine, and the shine spark puzzles are not my friend in this one, no they're not. Oh my goodness, man. Anyway, she's got that easy to miss, uh, missile tank. Okay, so yeah, I, I, so we're supposed to go through that teleporter, right? But, uh, there's a missile we can get right now, if you want. Where we going? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, there's a missile on that little ceiling, which requires your speed booster. So we have to activate that and use Shine Spark and press up as you hit the B button. You're back. You go now. Hi. Alright, so um Oh yeah, there's nothing else we we probably get right now. We we couldn't get before because we had the gravity suits. Do I just love screw attacking these little midgets? Or those flea enemies. That's, the, that's what they look like, fleas. But they give you, they give you shit tons of health, though. Even though we have full health. Alright. Oh, we created a shortcut. I almost forgot about that shortcut. Oh yeah, for some reason you use your bomb to blow that block up. Yup, you do. I mean, you would think, come on, that that should have been a breakable block, but I gotta use bomb to break that to get a, to get through that shortcut. Yeah, this might be the last time you get to hear this relaxing music. We'll be back in there. Well, I was just checking to make sure I didn't miss anything, so... Yeah, this is where that one energy tank was at, but we already gotten it. Alright, now we're going to, that, to the, to the uh, teleporter. And that's going to take us to, uh... Gavron. 
Okay, so yeah, we're about, to, we're about to fight a boss shortly, and this boss fight coming up is also one of the toughest. Probably tougher than that, than that gravity, than a gravity beetle boss. The not so gravity beetle. Are you, you back yet, Ryza? Does it hurt in the back? Oh, okay. yes, yes. Okay, yeah, had to be sure, because I kind of heard you in the background. And I had a hunch you might be back, in the sh might be back shortly. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Alright. Alright, so like as I mentioned about the final boss here, since we got the uh screw attack, or you could use your shine spark to, to get to the ball if you want. But let's get that missile out the way. If I see a missile, I'm just gonna grab it. <laughs> so yeah, just uh one more day to uh, to New Year's. I ain't gonna do yeah. much. I ain't gonna do much, but start a new Let's Play for my channel. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Yep. Now for the boss door monster. And there's a um energy part we can get. Yeah. Oh yeah, there was. Yeah, I just remember that, uh, th th there's an energy part we can get. So, that, that requires the other uh, speed booster. And we gotta, um, just trying to find the right time and break that, uh, ceiling open. One out of four. Alright. See, I'm gonna be one health bar short by the end of this playthrough because at one point, like I said, at one point I decided to, um, not to get everything but beat the game normally. Alright, you may think it's a normal enemy, right? But no. It ain't nothing but. Now we're finding the main boss's area. And yeah, this this freaking creature right here is so, is so goddamn crazy. Oh, and see, now see, whenever he raises up like that, you want to slide under his legs, but that didn't work for some weird reason. So yeah, your best bet is that you want to use your screw attack to jump over him, then shoot him from behind. Yeah, just like Super Robotnik, his butt is his weakness. <laughs> just like that one episode off of Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Man, this music sounds intimidating as fuck right here. And yeah, and every every once in a while, who starts shoot those 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 white ball things at you, and they will stand there at you for like five seconds until they until they scare in certain directions. You just gotta listen to the sound cues and just get and get the hell out of the way. You hear a doom doom doom. That's when you got the way. Yeah, cause on the third beep, that's when you should move out the way. When it moves twice, that's that's when you should get ready to move out the way. That's why I can explain about this boss fight. But yeah, be careful um, trying to dodge that laser shit when you're screw attacking, because you may saw the laser was like, was, was up on the ceiling. Alright. So now he's been defeated. All we gotta do now is uh, defeat the orb of this thing from Metroid Future. And that should give us the ability to cross bomb. So yeah, by holding, by pressing the, uh, by holding R and hit Y, you, um, let's just say that, um, okay, power ball that blast extends in straight lines, like, like what that, uh, guy says. It's pretty much your bomb extender. Alright. As you see right now. Yeah, that's only useful when you get across of, um, breakable gaps and such. And oh my goodness, man. And sometimes the cross bomb is not so useful. Because it's supposed to help you get across that, um, the breakable gap. But nope. It doesn't shit that fucking random. 
Like, what the hell? Okay, I kind of fucked up there, so... I don't go my bad on that. But the car farm is so finicky still. Oh, come on. Oh, it is a reason why I ain't cut this out. Let's just say it's a, it's a good thing I'm fucking up, because... There's another easy, easy to miss uh, missile here. I'm like, oh wait, I forgot about this. Oh, you, you can kind of see it. No, no, you don't. Yeah, you gotta break the block three times to get the um, get that missile. So yeah, it's a good thing I keep on fucking up, <laughs> cause I would have missed that goddamn uh, missile if I made it through successful. You see? <laughs> It's like the game is saying, no, you're not living here until you get this missile, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to a new area. Alright. So, what's our new area? Oh, that's where our ship is be. Oh, hunt. See, I keep reading that as honeybee. Yeah. Yeah, honeybee. Uh, yeah, like the chick off of Simran Kakura. That's, that's honeyed. Yeah, oh my god. It, 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 it sounds so similar, though. No, that's honeybee. That's not honeybee. Honeybee, honeybee. <laughs> honeybee, it's nice to meet ya. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, under the uh. Yep, I see ya, but I don't believe ya. <laughs> yes, he fooled me. <laughs> oh, let me see the trolls of the statues in the background for a brief second. Oh, that's for feel our health. Or a missile, actually. Yeah, 169. Nice. Alright, what you gotta say, Adam? Data. This area, Honeybee, is on the planet's surface. So technically our, our main goal planet. was to return to our ship. There is still a problem. Destroying the planet will eliminate the ex-parasites. But Raven Beep is unlikely to sit idly by as this happens. He will try to escape once he detects the Of data. course. Raven Beep's search for Metroid DNA poses a threat to the galaxy. Can Metroid's crawl? <laughs> Who remember that inside joke back in the day? <laughs> I am searching for his location. Return here later for an update. Or Joey Bridge is helping, yes. And no, it wasn't a tweet or message by uh, David Haffey, it was by somebody else. <laughs> Alright, so now, more going to new area, so... So we're pretty much near the end of the game. But yeah, I mean, this game can be pretty long depending on how you play it, I would say. Alright, there's no missile there, so it's checked. Okay, there's another easy get missile. Alright, another missile tank. Oh yeah, I just got done watching that, um, the, uh, the new South Park, uh, film. The post-COVID run. On, uh, Paramount Plus. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that one was a two-part I just watched, and it was pretty good. Oh, we're about to go to another... Oh, and now we found a teleporter, right? Which is gonna take us back to, um... For... For Rhenia. Yeah. Going down. Answer the Toad Jimmer Earls. I don't know why, but for a moment I thought you were about to say Corneria. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> but where's Star Fox when you need him? 
But anyway, insert the Toe Jimmer Earl's uh, elevator theme. That doom, 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 doom. <laughs> so yeah, we've been here before. But we're in a different segment of Fenaria. Alright, now we can't shoot the door on the right just yet until we uh, get a new ability. Now we can finally heal up. You know the saying, the cold doesn't bother Samus anyway. Huh. Oh yeah, I think I think I do get another muscle here. Yep, we gotta go down here, right? Oh yeah, we can't. Okay, we can't do anything about that until we get the power bombs, which we, which we will get shortly. But it's not in this area. <laughs> oh yeah, I was, I was also playing um, San Andreas on the PS5 recently. Let's say you provide some of your memories when I play on the PS2. I didn't try Fight City or Grand Theft Auto 3 on PS5 just yet, but I will eventually. Okay, oh, now we gotta use, use the, uh, the Storm Missile. To save with the, uh, the generator. Yeah, but make sure you hit the X button so, uh... Samus do that, does that little um, guarding animation so you can stay on that screw attack uh, platform. Alright, now our final uh, enemy we have to deal with. Yeah, I ain't fucking with you, Mr. Emmy, but we have to. Yeah, just keep hauling ass. Man, thank goodness for the gravity suit, because if we ain't had that gravity suit, oh my goodness, just how- Just imagine how much hell we gotta go through. Yeah, still didn't get brilliant down yet, but that's alright. Alright, now we get to see this one final time. I don't know why, they got this whole massive CPU vibe. But without the big ass face. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes when you make sandwich jump, she doesn't, she doesn't do her score attack animation. And that kind of fucks me up sometimes. Yeah, too bad we can't, uh, we can't use that, um... The, the 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 arm cannon <laughs> got the whole entire game unless somebody find a way to mod it. That drone be so broken that was the case. <laughs> Alright, yeah, first thing I gotta do is uh lower the um the elevator we're standing on. The lift I mean. That lowers the water. Yeah, fortunately for us, the final enemy is, is is pretty much easy. You would think that would be the hardest one, but no. It's the one that be going really fast the hardest. That's the one where you get the speed booster. We just gotta hurry up and destroy all the, up, destroy the objects. Alright, then we gotta go up there. Use your uh, flash trip and stand at that particular spot and then start firing away. So as soon as the enemy shows up, keep blasting his face until his face exposed, then shoot with the giant laser. But don't run, though. Because if you try to run after you get his face off, you just make your life a living hell. See, not too shabby. Oh yeah, I did watch a little bit. Of, I did watch a little bit of the 100% uh, speedrun of this game, the one you just showed me. And it was a speed super of uh, uh, streaming it. Yep. 
He was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he looks something like, um, like the alternate version of, um, Foxy off of Friday Nights of Freddy's. But not that scary, though. Let's see. Or the dude off of, of uh, Super Lucky's Tail, the Fox dude. Yeah, I wonder if Mark Fire finished that playthrough yet. The new one. The security breach would. I'm so good at now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, he loves it. He loves him some Five Nights at Freddy's. It's been superb, but so a few other, a few other of these kids check out. But oh, this, oh, there's multiple endings in that game. Yeah, uh, Ryan literally ditched all, all the endings that he gave. Alright. There's at least six, maybe seven things to give. Alright. So yeah, so we now we got the uh we got the um the Y theme. Yeah, which lets you shoot through walls. Where then um charging your charge shot to shoot through walls. I meant to point that out. <laughs> got finance a phrase in my mind. <laughs> But I'm not gonna lie, I do I do love um Samus uh Gravity suit design, especially up close up. It's like her suit is like it's like she's wearing one of those, those glow in the dark type of suits. <laughs> yeah, like those damn almost those damn gag commercials from a uh, Nickelodeon. Oh, we're gonna be finding that, that motherfucker shortly. <laughs> oh my goodness. This place give me the sheep the the heebie jeebies. Oh I love her facial expression. She's like your move. Hold on. <laughs> It's your move, ass wipe. I can't even tell that Force was, was like pulling her back. Or was she trying to catch him off guard? Uh oh. Yes, let's watch her. Oh yeah, Raven Beak. He's like, I'm watching you. I'm watching every move. Oh! Found Emmy, right? Well, well, here's the thing. We don't necessarily fight the Emmy per se. Oh shit! She's, she's able to guard that shit. And by the way, I didn't I didn't control none of this by the way. It's all part of the cutscene. Well, yeah, when I first played this, I was I was completely thrown off. I'm like, oh shit about to die. Oh I didn't hit the X one at a time. Alright. So now we find the final no, no we find the um the total statue again. Yeah, this ain't really the final, uh, choke set we're seeing. But at least we did take care of that Emmy doing cutscene. <laughs> yeah, if you destroy a shield, um, you'll, you'll, you'll gain some, um, some health and missiles. Oh. Yeah, this chose that's pretty easy. Now you spend that black ink at you. <laughs> so, yeah, you can still you can see the uh, the, the dead enemy in the background. But yeah, like I said, when that when that orange uh, enemy attacks you, don't worry about him attacking you because it's all part of cutscene. It's gonna throw you off, yes. But it's scripted. Uh 
Oh yeah, and now we get that Toso statue. Now we get our final ability. Oh yeah, keep this in mind. You, you can't skip this cutscene, by the way. I learned doing the speed run when I was going for the achievements. Oh yeah, she had to show that ability from that uh from that enemy, which we didn't really have to fight on our own thanks to cutscene. So we got the power bomb, our final ability of the game. Now this is where the mop up the mop up episode, the mop up episode will will come to play. Cause once you get power bomb, you pretty much have every power you need to get all the um all the missiles and missile tanks you um. All the missiles and the energy tank that you're that you're missing. And what the power bomb does is that um it pretty much um blows everything up on screen. Self-explanatory. But yeah, as I as I mentioned, uh, now we got the power bomb. We can um we can do some bad tracking if you want. To get all the missiles and all the um, missile, all, all the missile and um, energy that we couldn't get before. God damn, so many irons! I can't even explain that shit correctly. God damn. All right. So yeah, so feel free to um, do some other episode if you want. Oh yeah, that shines for our puzzle. Well, we're gonna take care of it in, in the next part because at the time we recorded this, I kind of forgot how you work uh, this missile. But, oh, well, we, first we're gonna talk to animals so we can save, and we'll call an episode. Samus, you have manifested a new power. The speed with which you siphon energy is undoubtedly metroid in nature. The Metroid DNA inside you must have fully awakened, hmm. no out as a result of the many battles you have fought on this mission. This tremendous power is the last thing you require to confront Raven Beast. Yes. I have detected a fortress in the sky high above the Nubia. He must be there. So yeah, so he's just he's just implying that um that we from near the um uh, near the final area. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. So yeah. So the next part of a Metroid Dread, we're gonna wrap up this playthrough. So till then, later, folks. Later. Later.